Hi, to another video. This video is just to show you how to flash the uh, Tabwino and how to flash the firmware onto the Arduino Nano board that is here. This here. Okay, so if you've got this kit and that. Once you flashed it, it will come up with this, and it will say what version it is. I'm showing you a picture because the simple reason is it's it's not here at the moment. It's in the other room, and I can't go in there at the present time. So this is basically I'll just take you through the steps of what I did, and hopefully that'll help you to flash it. So. This board is the makers of the board and and that the person who actually designed the tab we know is Peter Edwards who is sweet I can't pronounce his name though it's sweet something sweet Lil Lil Lilme Sweet little meh, maybe? I don't know, anyway. Um, here we go, anyway. So, first of all, let's get rid of this. Right, this is the web page you have to go to to get the firmware for the Tabwino. It's on GitHub. That's what you call it. Okay, and it says, I'll read it to you so that you know. To build the, the, to build the Tabwino firmware, you will need to need a recent version of the Arduino IDE 1.64 or as of this. And that's where you get it from. Install the IDE and then clone or download a zip of the firmware. I suggest using a clone so you can pull at any time to update. I didn't use the clone, I just I actually just downloaded a zip and installed it that way. Because I don't know about cloning or anything, so I just downloaded the zip file and put it into the software and then um, compiled it. Anyway, I'll carry on now. Before the firmware will compile successfully, you will need to configure the source. This is achieved by creating a config user h file. An example file named config user h dot example can be copied to config user h and then edited to to choose appropriate configuration options these configura these configuration options are the screen you're using and the language so that's what the config file is for once configured load the tabwino.eno file into your IDE and compile if you download a zip or clone into a folder named something other than Tabwino, the sketch will not compile. The IDE requires that the sketch lives in a folder of the same name, and you will need to rename the folder to Tabwino. Basically, what that means is the files have got to be in a folder named Tabwino, otherwise, it won't compile it to the Arduino. Optionally is set for project files for at Mel Studio have been provided if you would like to use this IDE to compile. Basically you can compile it with at Mel Studio if you've got one, but I'm not using that. I'm using um, this software here. Sketch. So right. First of all what you do is you download this 
software from here yes and you install it like you usually install normal stuff on your computer I'm sure you can do that right and once you've installed it plug in once you've installed it plug in your Arduino Nano and it will start to install the drivers for it wait for it to do then you've got to make sure this says this Arduino Nano 88 Mega 328 on COM port 4 but COM port 4 it's depends on what COM port your computer puts the Arduino the Arduino Nano on Arduino Nano on sorry okay so what you have to do now is once it's installed and everything and you've connected it to connected your Arduino Nano by USB you click on file and click open then you go to the folder that I'm that you've named Tabuino see downloads Tabuino and it shows you all the files you go down to Tabuino dot eno click that and click open once you open it it'll open another one again so now we close this one okay all right and this is all the files okay but first what you've got to do before compiling it is you've got to make yourself a a config user h file in the in the in the folder if i go to the folder i think i've got it up no it's in downloads so there it is in the folder you will find a config user dot h example get rid of the word example so it says config slash user dot h only then once you once you've done that then load it into here and you'll see this config user h then you can configure it like i have done because i'm using the first you the first lcd screen a normal lcd screen you pick this one if you're using the same one as me these are for other screens that are compatible and because I only speak English the language will be English but you've got other uh, languages there German it, I think that's Italian isn't it uh, ES is Spain isn't it I think I think that's Spanish I think not sure uh, anyway you can pick what language whatever language you want then you save the file and once you've done that then you just click once everything's done and that then you click verify compile and then it will compile straight away to your Arduino Nano it'll come up with a few things saying there ain't a lot of space in it and all that but don't worry about all that that's perfectly fine and everything should work okay but just make sure in the settings that your COM port is pointed to whatever COM port your AT your um your uh, Arduino Nano is on. Otherwise, it, it will try and copy to a COM port that might not even be connected to to it, and then it won't it won't compile it to it. So it's got to be on the same COM port. So um, you do it in the settings somewhere here. I've got to find them. Hold on. Monitor. No. Okay. Um. See, as well, you got to make sure as well that the name, the name, the name of your board is there. So you might have to change the name to Arduino, Arduino Nano, like I had to actually. 
So I changed it to that and make sure that the processor is AT Mega 328. Okay. Okay, now where is the COM port? That's weird. I know it was on here, but I can't remember how I did it. Hmm. What the hell is how you change the COM port? I can't remember. Hold on. Preferences. Nope. Okay. I know there's somewhere around here where you can change the COM port, but for the life of me, I can't find it. Uh, hold on. Um... Serial plotter, would it? No, 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 no. Oh dear. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. Oh, yeah, it says there port. It's because I couldn't see it, but see port. You click on that one there, and it will come up, and it will show you the ports you can select. Then you click on the port that you need, and mine was on port, COM port 4. You can see it here anyway. It's on COM port 4, it's on COM port 4, it's not available because it's not plugged in. But if you plugged it in, it would, that COM port would be available, and then you'd see it here. So you just change the COM port, make sure that it's saying, just make sure that it's the right board name, right processor, and the right COM port so that you can communicate with your Arduino Nano and then you just once you loaded this in like I said and done the config here yes you just go to sketch and then you click verify compile compile and then it will compile it to your Arduino Nano and then you it's done and when you test it and turn it on it will come up It will come up like that, and you're all good, all good, good to go. So I hope this has helped someone. Anyway, so that's the best way I, I can explain it, really. So I hope to see you in my next video. I said, well, this is about 13 minutes long. This video, I had to kind of explain things. Hope I explained them well enough. If you've got any problems or anything like that, post comments below. Below, 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 please. If you've got any comments, and I can help you in any way. If you're stuck or anything, in flashing it or anything, let me know, and I'll be willing to help. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye now.